Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to continue with the old videos, with the old gems. We're going to react to a Jewish rabbi who says Islam is the religion of the future by discoveringislam.org. I'm generally very skeptical when it comes down to certain religious figures, like in this instance, a rabbi talking about other religions. Nevertheless, today we're going to see an outsider's perspective on Islam. With no further ado, let's have a look. First, for Christianity. Christianity began disappearing since the era when Marx wrote his communist manifesto. Yes, that is absolutely correct. I can attest to that because this is what has happened on the Balkans, where my parents are from. On the Balkans, we had a huge communist revolution. And since then, I cannot say that Christianity truly recovered. Which, if what we have read, where we find Christianity described accurately, it will die. Okay, yet again, absolutely horrible translation here. We will have to interpret what they mean. This is a fact whereby virtue of its establishment, Christianity, we find that it cannot withstand the social revolutions. Of course, the rabbi is happy about that. Uh, and started Christian dies about in 19th century and almost until the beginning of the 20th century as Christianity stopped to be a leader religion. All right, interpretation time. So I believe what he wants to say here is that Christianity is in a steady decline, not necessarily only by numbers because it is still the world's major religion. However, by practicing Christians, it's probably the smallest religion out of the three Abrahamic faiths that could bring people or drive them and did not do anything in the religious side but easily adapted to the modern era yeah that is absolutely correct and this is what i spoke about christianity itself by numbers is still big however christianity as something that people practice has really died out because most christians nowadays are simple liberals where there are the Christian political parties with religious Jewish parties in Israel within the authority. In other words, Christianity is a spiritual religion for a group of people have been died. Yet again, this translation is absolutely terrible, man. I have to guess here that what the rabbi said is that the spirit of Christianity has died, that people are not attached to it spiritually any longer. I guess. No idea. Duhovni basis. Yeah. Okay. Islam. Christians for Umira. So yeah, I listened to the Russian now and I believe this is what he meant. He meant that the spirit of Christianity died. But for Islam, it has been built since its foundation to be able to withstand. It is Islam with a strong faith so that it can withstand any change in the world. Yes, absolutely, you cannot disagree with this, of course, because the core of Islam is the opposite of liberalism, is the opposite of modernity. This is why it is hated by the West. And it is true, as long as people adhere to the core teaching of Islam, they adhere to the principles of Islam, they will automatically go against modernity. But unfortunately, during those last few years, I saw many Muslims fall prey to the modernist agenda agenda as well. Islam grew up in a different way and it has been led by a leader who received the divine message and there is no doubt in this. Okay. 
если там с христианством. Not like Christianity, where there are many differences about the reality of its establishment, and these differences are very clear between the various Christian sects. So first off, I agree with what he said about Islam here, and moreover, it appears that this rabbi believes in Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. But that being said, what he does with Christianity is a straw man. He talks about the different sects in Christianity. However, all he had to do is go back to the original Christianity, to Orthodox Christianity, and there is no schism within Orthodox Christianity. Even if you want to go further down the road and say, yeah, but look, Orthodox Christianity is split into Roman Catholicism, yet again, in the core teaching of the Trinity, etc., etc., there is absolutely no difference there. But in Islam it is very clear, there was a prophet, Muhammad, then God revealed to him the message of the Quran. Yeah. Then began to build a religious society and on this basis built a new society and new testaments. New testaments. It turned out later that these teachings are able to withstand and we will find it very clear if we read the Quran. This rabbi is a Muslim. Huh? It is very clear in the Quran the teachings of this revelation was made to always be able to survive in difficult situations. True. The Quran itself is easy to memorize, hence it can be recited over and over again, it can never be lost. That being said, the core teachings of the Quran as well, they are transcendent of time if people have the eyes to see. Of course, the modernist will say, Oh, there's a stage of savages! Because they believe that modern times are the salvation. As long as you can have sex with the same sex, you are saved, of course. This is progress. Absolutely amazing. But God forbid we would get warned about that degeneracy and we would get called back to the natural way of life. God forbid. What? This is what really happened. The teachings of Islam have survived and withstand in the most difficult situations. I would agree. This is in addition to something very important that has been marked to Islam, that Islam appeared in the East. Okay. All religions have the Abrahamic ones. Away from Europe where the social and industrial revolutions, Islam has been away from all of this. It was born away and became strong enough. Okay, I understand what he tries to say here. Islam, just as the other Abrahamic faiths, originated essentially from the same place, from the same area in this world. Nevertheless, Islam not being present truly in Europe was not exposed to the communist revolution as Christianity was. However, I have to correct him here because if you look into the Ottoman Empire and you look into Ataturk after that, that, you will see that, yes, even in Turkey, we had that communist revolution that crushed Islam. Or in Albania, out of all places, Albania nowadays is a predominantly Muslim country. However, it was the first atheistic country in Europe after the communist revolution. So even Islam has seen the dangers of communism. Today, in our modern times, after the coming of democracy, that democracy is the unlimited limited atheism. Yes, absolutely. It happened with secularism, secularizing the societies, removing church from state. And what do you got then? Then you have a law that is man-made. That law is not a divine law that you follow, but now you follow man-made structures, which ultimately is atheism. He's right. Sure. Атеизма, поскольку демократия – это оголтелый атеизм. Democracy is an ugly thing. It is the top of atheism at all. Yes, absolutely correct. And if I think about democracy, I think about the quote of Osho. Because democracy basically means government by the people, of the people, for the people. But the people are retarded. 
Демократия – это страшная вещь. Это атеизм, доведенный, так сказать, до высшей точки. Do absolute, да. Absolutely. In this period, democracy began sinking the world. Yeah, they will see what they got from it because they are following their own desires. They are following their passions. They believe the more freedom you create, freedom, quote unquote, the better you are off. But ultimately, they will fall prey to that sinful life. And this is what we see now at Cromwell. At the time, it did not remain a thing of Christianity, but only the old historic buildings. Uh, yes, well, it's true. Just as there remains nothing of Judaism as a result of falling under the shadow of Zionism. Unlike this rabbi man, rabbi, or should I say sheikh, thus in the world today did not remain anything religion other than Islam. Yeah, I would say that Islam is the only seriously practiced religion. We have to admit this. Above all the upgrade growth of Islam so that those who follow the Prophet Muhammad later and committed to the teachings of this religion so they are always in contact with the Creator. Они постоянно находились в состоянии общения с Творцом. While the Christian, if he went at once to the church on Sunday, it is considered to be a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. We talked about this with the Aussie Muslim on my channel. If a Christian goes every Sunday to church, you would say this is a practicing Christian. But nevertheless, it is totally normal. It's nothing special for a Muslim to go to the mosque on Friday. This is common sense for Muslims. However, with us Christians, it is truly the case with my family members near or far. It does not matter. Nobody goes to church on Sunday. We go to church if we want to, maybe on holidays, if we choose to do so. Ultimately, nobody really goes to church any longer like they used to do. And therefore, if a Christian nowadays goes to church on Sunday, he is a really practicing Christian. This is how he is seen. On the other hand, it is just a normal Friday for a Muslim. <laughs> What has happened, man? While the Muslim kneels on his knees in prayer five times per day. Yep. We don't do anything, man. Nothing. Some Christians lay in bed, they fold their hands, and then they make a little wish. Really, it's pathetic. Five times a day and of specific times where I live with them there. Yes, they have to, if you want to or not, you would have to do it. Furthermore, when I traveled to Europe, there was a quiet corner at the airport. Yeah. Then came the prayer time, I went to it, I found Muslims coming near close to me. I stopped to pray my prayer while they, the Muslims, brushed newspapers on the ground and knelt on their knees praying. This is Islam. Yeah. Who does that, man? Christians nowadays are afraid of making the cross. Christians nowadays wouldn't even publicly display their faith, maybe with a little cross necklace and that's that. However, the Muslim, when prayer time comes and there is no prayer room, no mosque, he prays man, no matter where he is. Overall, this has many meanings. People praying five times per day. Discipline. However, it is five prayers, not too long. I could have viewed the prayer, Muslim prayer, briefed the what is written in it. Okay, no idea what it means. The prayer is not too long, but is very serious and very deep. Okay. When a man kneeling on his knees for five minutes and kneeling to pray and read what is written, it is at that time in the case of address with Allah, the Most High, then this is something very important and of great meaning. 
okay, yet again, I can only interpret what I'm hearing, what I'm reading here. Ultimately, I believe what it means is that the recitation itself is short but very meaningful. And this brings you close to your Lord, to the Most High. Therefore, Islam in total is the religion of the future. В общем, это религия будущего. Ну так скажем, вот если сегодня мир не будет закрыт. Where we can say that the world will not close now by what they so called Israel. I don't understand the sentence, but I like it. We are in the stage where the world is heading to the defense through the segregation. Because this country, Israel, does not have the right to exist. So he's an Orthodox rabbi. Since the year and a half has ended, all the dates available and possible. The world began the segregation, that is, God the Most High closes it. All attempts to predict the future to stop all these disasters and other economic and follows another, it will be meaningless. It's a warning of a catastrophe. The world will be closed and there is no escape from it. Maybe he predicted 2020. He does eliminate the state Israel, which is in fact the origin of evil. If this was the elimination of the state Israel, as I think within 70 years most of the land will embrace the religion of Islam. Even the Israelis. Okay, that's a bold claim. Inshallah. Because of this religion, Islam is strong enough and can lead the people in the right direction. Yes, there is controversy between Sunnis and Shiites and differences between them and some of the issues. This understood, but only now, but I hope if it was after the elimination of what we have now, Israel, which is the origin of evil, to end their differences. At this time, most of people will embrace the religion of Islam today that is obvious for witness. Today, the white coverage began to spread to the extent that a single European country do not recall her name. Oh, this video is tough. Banned the new mosques because of the spread of Islam. Islam will be the future of the world, and this is the truth. Accurately. If the elimination of the existing problem is right. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. I cannot say too much about it for obvious reasons. Otherwise, YouTube will delete my channel altogether. We already have enough copyright strikes and shadow banning, demonetization and whatnot. Nevertheless, from what I understood here, this must be an orthodox rabbi. And the orthodox rabbis, they're usually against the state of Israel. But he even goes further and proclaims that Israel will adapt Islam. This is, of course, a bold claim. We will see about that. That would truly be a miracle. But that being said, with the other points, he is spot on because this is what we see. Islam is the only religion that is truly practiced in this day and age by the majority of its followers. This is just a fact. As I said, going to the mosque on Friday is normal. This is not something special. You're not a pious Muslim just because you went to the mosque on Friday. However, if you do that as a Christian, on Sundays you go to church, then you are a pious Christian. Wow, look at John. He is going to church every Sunday. Wow. Truly, this is the adherence of Christianity in the West nowadays. Many so-called Christians on YouTube even, I know for a fact that are proclaiming that they are Orthodox Christians and whatnot, man, they are not in church every Sunday either. It is all just a label nowadays. Even so-called neo-nationalists that are proclaiming that they are Christians, white Christians, 
They are not going to church either on Sunday. It's absolutely ridiculous. There is no seriousness about their religion. There is no dedication to the religion. There is no true belief within the religion. Islam is the only religion that is taken serious. Islam is the only religion that is respected. Guys, once you lose respect for anything in life, you cannot regain it. It is absolutely impossible. I know people will tell you otherwise. Oh, people need a second chance. It is impossible. Once you lose respect for a person, let alone a religion, you will never regain it again. It's absolutely impossible. You will tell yourself, oh, now this person proved themselves to me. Now I respect them again. No chance, man. It's absolutely impossible. You will never respect them because internally, instinctively, this dent is done. You will never respect that person yet again. Think about it. Your wife cheats on you. And in this day and age, people forgive such things. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. And they will say, yes, honey, yes, I love you. I respect you again. But ultimately, you lost respect for that person. And moreover, now you lost respect for yourself. This is the worst thing that can happen. And so if you lose respect for your religion, but you keep on following it, you lose respect for yourself. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. Then all the links are in the description box below. As always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.